Hey folks, Fat Guy Flies RC. Out here at the Avon Park Aero Modelers Club, we're gonna take up the X-Fly Twin Nova. Wind is 15 to 20 mile an hour. Directly that way, <laughs> cross runway. And uh, I'm gonna fly in it. Motor on. All right, right aileron, left aileron. Up elevator, down elevator, right rudder, left rudder. Take off flaps, landing flaps. Now this plane does have front nose suspension. I'm running a 3300 3S HRB. She's a uh, twin engine obviously, but that actually helps with stability. Um, I don't even think I'm going to attempt landing straight on the runway but we might I, my uh, receiver that I have installed is an AR630 antennas receiver um, features safe uh, and AS3X I do not have safe turned on right now I just have the AS3X turned on right now Let's see if we can actually land this plane. Throttle's almost completely off now. So, yeah. You know what? Hold on. We get we get turned around here. Where my landing is going to have to be. The landing at something you have to remember these are light little foam planes boy it carried away over there they don't weigh nothing so okay so trying to land her on the runway you know you well the, the way you land on a runway across breeze is you fly the plane right at you you stand off the runway, obviously. You fly the plane right at you, and then the last minute you turn it towards the runway. The problem with that is, and that's the typical how it normally would work, but these little planes are so light. Look how far that nose is digging in that grass. These little planes are so light that uh, that suspension really hadn't worked. These little planes are so light that uh, they'll get blown right on over really quick. So if you can land across the runway with the wind, then that's what you gotta do. Taking off, not so bad. You say, well, if you take off, you should be able to land. Well, yeah, <laughs> but not always. All right, let's, let's, you know what? I just said all that. Let's try it though. See if I can land with the runway. Okay, we're landing it right, come right at me and then turn. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Definitely not my uh, most spectacular landing. But like I said, I got a horrible cross breeze. If it was four or five mile an hour, I wouldn't even be talking about it. But when it's 15 gusting up to 20, then yeah, that's a different story with something that only weighs a couple of pounds. All right, this is a great, still a great stable plane though. stalled her and see what she did. Right. We're right at me here just doing a nice flyby. You get a good look at her. That AS3X, you say, well, that wings are rocking. Yeah, and that's with the AS3X working. Trying to keep those wings straight and level and trying to keep it in the same attitude that you're putting it in but the wind says otherwise be 
because of the design of this plane the way the wing is she will float and float and float all right all right there's the grass hops landed and took off in the grass <laughs> I'm gonna try. I'm going. I'm going to attempt a runway landing and get off the runway. I'm gonna try it. Maybe I can do it. <laughs> Not the best. Oh, and I bent my landing gear. She hit pretty hard. She pancaked on me. Now see how the see how them main gears are splayed out? Yeah. Motor off. Motor off. Yeah. See she pancaked pretty hard that last minute gust and I didn't get to slow down and flare enough and yeah. Alright. She's healed! <laughs> all right that is the only real weak point with this plane is the land the mains are fairly weak if you pancake like that they will bend out on you um but don't put don't let that put you off on this plane it's a really good flying plane good performing plane and a good looking plane too now if you're in the market for a twin you know you want something and uh, the most comparable contemporary plane out there okay guys don't get mad at me though is the uh, e-flight twin otter uh sun is the, the twin otter um and don't get the multi the multiplex version get the x-fly version the, they're the exact same plane okay the only difference is the multiplex version cost about eighty dollars more just because they got that multiplex brand on it but this is an x-fly plane so and this one comes to me from bitco hobby They're presently, as of today, today's what, 17th of April, 2023. They're out of stock right now, but X, uh, but, but Bit, Bitco's good about restocking, but they're at the mercy of China. You know, I mean, they're the ones who provide the, comes from China, so. Anyways, great plane, obviously stable enough to handle this horrible wind there you go let me show you where i put that plane or that battery i've got a uh, 3300 hrb and uh she cgs if i can hold her right um just about an inch and a half back and she's right about there and she cgs pretty good right there and where i've got the battery is a it's an hrb top loader that's great an hrb 3300 with a 60c and just fits kind of more towards the front you can see where i've got it in there well, my hand wasn't in the way let's take her out and uh just so you know it comes with an ec3 connection but it's one incredibly tight ec3 so you might want to put a little bit of a what is that silicone grease or something on there just a touch of it but look at look at how you got such a big battery bag i can put my whole hand in there clear canopy it just screams for fpv and that battery strap is adjustable back and forth so you could put up to a 5000 
a 3s in this thing if you want you just got to move it back further all right let's take a look at our this is the uh, hrb 3300 put it in the old battery checker here 57 percent left i could have flown for flown i could have flown flow, flow. i could have flown for two more minutes minute more maybe a minute and a half 57 percent come back at 30 percent very efficient plane very light wing loading um good plane uh look at the uh let me show you something see the suspension there on that front nose plastic nose tip so you can stand it in a corner for storage and uh you know you got your dual props they turn in each of them turn in very stable like i said the only real drawback is uh, if you have a bad pancake landing like i did the mains will splay out well they bend right back and you can <laughs> it's not a problem um so there you go well anyways folks that is the x-fly twin nova great plane that's actually the second or maybe the third time i've ever flown that particular twin nova um i had one before sold it to a friend missed it and bought it again so <laughs> hey i'm nuts well anyway folks there you go don't forget faith family and friends and them planes god bless y'all like and subscribe Bye bye